The prickly pear cactus salad, it's a delicacy in Mexico, but it seems these cacti have uses beyond the culinary, cleaning up oil spills and purifying water. You can see how it's really easy to grow. With support from the National Science Foundation, University of South Florida chemical engineer Norma Alcantar is using the gooey flesh of the cactus called mucilage to clean up polluted water. Her interest in green chemistry came from her grandmother, who told her of using cacti to clean river water in rural Mexico as a young woman. They will take the cactus plant, but they will cut it, they will boil it, and they will use the water from that uh, preparation to clean the water. When Alcantar tested that process in her lab, she was amazed at the results. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, are you serious? It really works? I, because I thought it will, I will see an effect, but I didn't think I will see an effect so dramatic. These bio beads are made of mucilage. This is the control, the initial concentration of the methyl blue dye versus the one that has been with the, in contact with the beads. After an oil spill, cactus goo could be an alternative to chemical dispersants, like those used in the Deepwater Horizon cleanup. The same action can be done with a very low concentration that makes it very sustainable and fairly inexpensive. Alcantar did water quality tests in Haitian refugee camps after the 2010 earthquake, finding high levels of heavy metals and bacteria in the drinking water. While there, she kept an eye out for cacti, and they were everywhere. This is in a gas station. Tests back at her lab confirmed that mucilage could successfully clean the polluted water from Haiti, and that's significant. In the future, cacti could be harvested locally to decontaminate drinking water quickly after disaster strikes. Using a natural product to clean water, it's a sharp idea. After all, there's no reason to get stuck on the old way of doing things. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.